Hey everyone, I'm Caleb, and today we're going to edit a video together from start to finish. I'll explain what I'm doing as I edit, but if there's a part of the video that you want to learn more about, then you can visit one of our tutorials about that subject. In this video, you'll see an overview of Filmora 9's basic editing workflow by importing media, doing a basic edit, and exporting our finished video. Here's an example of what we're going to create inside of Filmora 9. When you first open Filmora, you're going to have to create a project, so let's do that now. Next, I'll import my media into the project. I'll take some video clips as well as some music to add. Now with my media ready, I'll double click the first clip of my video and set my in and out points so I can put my clips together how I want them on my timeline. I set the in point by clicking this button here, and the out by clicking this one. This way, the only part of the clip that is ready to go to the timeline will be highlighted here. Then I can drag that down to my timeline from the media library. I'll do the same with the other clip now. Now that I have a picture edit down, I'll bring in some music. Music lives on a separate track than the video clips, and will always be placed below video tracks. An easy way to tell is by looking for the quarter notes symbol to find an audio track to place your music on. Now that I'm happy with my video, I'm going to go ahead and export it. I'm going to leave it as MP4 for my format, because that should work on Mac, Windows, and run pretty smoothly. Same for the encoder, I'm going to leave it at H.264. I'm going to export with 1920 by 1080 resolution. I'll choose 30 FPS as a frame rate, since phones usually shoot at 30 FPS. FPS stands for frames per second. I'll leave my audio settings just how they are here, because this default works for us. Now I'm going to wait for my video to finish rendering, and then make sure to watch over the entire thing before you show anyone the video or upload it online. Don't ever miss that step, or you could miss something that didn't export properly in your video.